السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین ولاقبۃ المتقین و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ سید الانبیاء والمرسلین و علیہ و اصحابہ الطیبین الطاہرین و اصحابہ المکرمین المعظمین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم انما یتقبل اللہ من المتقین صدق اللہ العظیم رب شحلی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ارین الحق حقا ورزقن اتباعہ وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وآله الكرام وابنه الكريم وبارك وسلم عليك الصلاة والسلام My beloved Nabi Prophet Muhammad صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم His beloved followers We praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى And we send peace salutations Blessings Upon his most beloved Nabi, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. We send blessings upon his entire household, his Ahlul Bayt al-Tahar. We send blessings upon his all the companions, the Sahaba kiram. And we send blessings upon every single one, all the believers, brothers and sisters, all the believers, till day of judgment, insha'Allah, rahman. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our efforts and worships. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us goodness in this dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us jannah and maghfirah in here after. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, we had a beautiful Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. And it's almost done. We have only a couple of nights left. And we still make dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we become amongst those who are forgiven in this month, insha'Allah. And every one of us, or majority of us, we have tried our best to get more blessings, more rewards in this holy month. To do more worships, to do extra nawafil, extra, fra, uh, extra ibadah, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today inshallah I'll talk about very important thing. How do we know if my a'mal, my actions, are they accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or they are rejected in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because after all these efforts, if we do not make sure that uh, my a'mal, my actions, they are, you know, you know uh, accept, they become accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then there's no point. So we should know whether it is accepted or not. What are those things which actually can make our a'mal rejected in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We should know and we have to make sure that we do not commit such things. So the first thing, we actually we do believe or we do know, how we know that inshallah, inshallah our a'mal is accepted. And that is, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in, in Quran, إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْمُتَّقِينَ Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does accept all the a'mal and actions from those who are believers, muttaqi, pious people. So if this Ramadan brought us Righteousness, taqwa, and uh, made us pious person that insha'Allah Rahman we can have this hope that our a'mal, is, our a'mal are accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah. If we feel that before Ramadan I was not such a good person. If we feel that before Ramadan I was not scared of any, you know, the, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or any commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, any wa'id from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I was like that and now I do, 
Now I, now I make sure whether this is good or uh, bad, whether this is right or wrong. I always think of this. If we have such mentality, it means Alhamdulillah, we have some levels of taqwa, inshallah. And if we have that, inshallah, our a'mal are accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, how do we know that if our a'mal are accepted, if we know that we have done all the a'mal only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no pinch of, you know, uh, gurur, show off for the people for some other reason. If we know I have done it only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, completely with the khulus insha'Allah rahman, then insha'Allah this is going to be accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا if you do believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you do want to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in good manner, then you do you must do good deed with complete khulus, ikhlas. And how we do get that? Wala you shirk bi ibadati rabbi ahada. Do not commit shirk fil ibadah. And what is shirk fil ibadah? When we do any ibadah for the sake of people to show up, to mean you know, to let people know, to let you know, people realize that I am doing something good, I am doing a lot of charity, I am doing this and that. When we have such kind of mentality, it means it means we are doing something wrong. Khulus must be there. In namal a'mal bin niyad, all our a'mal and actions they are completely depend on intention. If our intention is good, insha'Allah Rahman, a'mal will be accepted. If our intention is not good, then it is going to be very, very, very difficult. There's a narration on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, on the day of judgment, in front of people, three, you know, people will uh, come, and you know, not ordinary people, shaheeds, someone who actually got killed in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, haji, the one who has done hajj, for the, you know, uh, the biggest ibadah and really hardship. And then a alim, the one who actually uh, seek the knowledge. And then what happened? If he has, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see all three of them and say, put them in Jahannam. Why? They will say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have done this and this and this. Allah says, you have done all these things for the sake of people. You just wanted to gain fame. You just wanted to, you know, people should realize and notice about you. That's it. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's how he's going to punish. So our a'mal, if they are based on ikhlas, inshallah, inshallah, we can have this hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept all of our a'mal, inshallah, rahman. Another beautiful thing which make our a'mal accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is dua after a'mal. And I actually, last week, I also mentioned that. So in Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he was making the Kaaba, meanwhile he was making dua, Rabbana tuqabbal minna innaka anta sami'ul alim. Rabbana waja'alna muslimaini laka wa min dhuriyyatina ummatan muslimatan lak. Wa arina manasikana wa tuba alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim. It tells us, when you put your efforts, you have to make dua. You have to make dua. If we offer our daily prayers, we have to make dua. If we are fasting, we have to make dua. If we are giving charities, we have to make dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us. Look at the, uh, one of the most beautiful surah in the Quran. And we do read almost every day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you look at the surah, there are, in Quran, there are so many other surahs are there. But in this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept three things. The first one called hamd. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin This is this part called Hamd Praise of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Then there's a middle part called Iyyaka Na'budu Wa Iyyaka Nasta'in Condition of human being Believers Who we are Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala We are nothing We always ask help from you And we always you know Worship you Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala only. We are slave This is the status we have and the third, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the third part which Allah has given place in such a beautiful surah, that is dua. Ihdina surat al-mustaqim. Ihdina surat al-mustaqim. Surat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim, ghayri al-maghdubi alayhim, 
وَلَضَّالِينَ no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us towards the straight path. This, this surah tells us that always, always we, we must do one thing and that is dua. Whatever a'mal we do, always make dua insha'Allah rahman. Because if we do dua insha'Allah rahman, that actually goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that actually goes to uh, acceptance insha'Allah. Another beautiful thing, and how we know that uh, insha'Allah Rahman, our a'mal are accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is if, if we feel that our heart has softness, kindness towards others. If we feel that my heart is not very hard, it is actually kind to everyone. Previously, my heart was rude. I was rude. My behavior was rude. And now I feel that no, alhamdulillah, I am talking to people very politely. I'm actually giving everyone time. I'm actually listening to others. I'm giving them time to uh, you know, say their own words. If we have that kind of softness, kindness, politeness in my heart, that means whatever a'mal I've done previously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has accepted them. Allah gives ease in your heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives kindness in your heart if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا أَحْتَوْ وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ They have softness. They have softness. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, when, uh, uh, when he sees the people, there's a beautiful narration. Rasulullah showed his happiness towards one sahaba and how Rasulullah says, أَرَّجُلُ يَسُومُ وَيُسَلِّي وَيَتَصَدَّقُ وَهُوَ يَخَافُ أَن لَا يُخْبَلَ مِنْهُمْ Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a person when he fasts and he do pray and he gives sadaqah and still he is a We have a, one announcement, inshallah. Move or, and uh, yeah, brothers, this is almost every week we do announce, every Friday. Anybody who parks right behind me, of course, usually we do have to do the parallel parking, but in the, you know, big nights, Ramadan, Jumu'ah, in those days we have to park actually straight. So you are, at least we can fit two, three more cars. So if you know, if you remember, this is your car parked right behind me, parallel, then you should go and please move it and park it, you know, straight. So some other brothers actually can help, get help too. Read Durood upon Bila wa Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now we have to go towards the side that what are those things which can make our a'mal rejected in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We got how we can make it accepted inshallah. Now things that we should know, if I will do in this way, then they cannot be accepted. The first one is actually the opposite of the previous one which I mentioned. And that is, if we have wurur upon my action, if I have pride, if I actually you know, show off, if I have you know, arrogance, in my attitude, just because of what I've done something, then you wish we should consider it, this is not accepted in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You went for Umrah, we went for Umrah or Hajj, and we came back, and now we are not talking to anyone. And you know, we are saying it to you know, everyone again, okay, Haji, I'm Mu'adamir, I'm this, I've done this, and all we're going to showing off. Sometimes we talk about our journey, uh, our journey, to motivate others, to encourage others. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, brother, alhamdulillah, I went there. And it was a beautiful experience. Alhamdulillah, I saw this and that. It is absolute, absolutely really great thing. So you can motivate others. Let others, you know, encourage so they can go too. But if you discourage, if you just want to show, oh, I, I stayed in, you know, seven star hotel. I never used to go this, you know, I, I used to do this, I've done so much charity, I've given this to, you know, thousands of people, every day I was doing this. When we have such kind of mentalities, all you are, you know, over here, intention. We cannot see, but Allah can. So if you have this intention, just want to show, uh, you know, in front of people, just want to let people know, just want, you know, people should notice this is what I've done, this is where I stayed. When we have such mentality, we should consider that a'mal are not accepted not accepted and they are rejected similarly we have been fasting in these um, uh, brothers and sisters um, i'm still getting uh, from people that uh, nobody moved from here so only one car move mashallah chale ek ne to suna 
There's one car that's I think New York plate. It's a Honda Odyssey, and uh, 9681. That is the uh, license plate. If anyone, it's New York license plate. Uh, New York license plate. Uh, Honda Odyssey, silver or gray color. So please do move. I'm seeing one brother moving uh, outside. So please, one more brother, inshallah. So this is major reason that our amal can be rejected in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we never ever should have riya. Sum'a. Riya and sum'a mean showing off for the people. If I am fasting, I am fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If during the month of Ramadan, I am giving charity, I am giving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If any one of us have this thought, that people should not notice, people should know, then it's gone. It's rejected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand this, inshallah. Another thing which can make our a'mal rejected, if we actually cut off from people just because of our action. You know, who are you to talk to me? Who are you? I am, you know, I am, uh, I go to this masjid and I donate so, so much amount to this masjid. And you are someone, you know, talking to me like this. When we, like, it's a similar kind of the, the previous thing. When you have such kind of heart, rudeness, attitude in your, uh, you know, uh, attitude problem, arrogance, just because of your amal, showing off particular thing, this is what I have done. And you haven't done yet. In that case, we are actually giving our all, uh, uh, no, putting our all a'mal into trash by ourselves, by our own hand. So we have been fasting, alhamdulillah. We have been praying taraweeh. We have been doing so many things, alhamdulillah. We should always make dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept one of them, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. And we get the title of acceptance, inshallah. And we get the title of forgiven, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us forgiveness, inshallah, inshallah. But as being Muslim, is it, that's possible that uh, we actually may do something which is, uh, you know, make our a'mal rejected. And one of the major things, and I'm really, really sorry, I include every one of, you know, ourselves over here. You want to know what is that? One of the things will actually make our amal rejected that you stop doing that action, that amal. You stop doing it. And why I'm including every one of us? Because we do fast, alhamdulillah. And we do not stop fasting, even inshallah next Ramadan. But in this Ramadan or every Ramadan, masajids are full. People do come, they pray their five daily prayers. And from the very first day on Eid, they stop praying. Now they come only on Fridays. And then they start again on the month of Ramadan. That is something can make our a'mal, our previous a'mal which we have done in the month of Ramadan can reject it. So what we have to do, we have to increase, not decrease. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ اَهْتَدَوْا زَادَهُمْ هُدًا وَتَقْوَاهُمْ Those who get hidayat, they actually increase the a'mal. They increase the hidayat, they increase the things. They do not decrease. So as being Muslim, if we have been doing something in the month of Ramadan, what we have to do after Ramadan, we do not have to stop. We have to continue, inshallah. If we continue, a'mal are accepted, inshallah. If we do not continue, then we should consider and we should focus that uh, this thing actually, maybe, maybe, maybe have gone to the wrong place. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand this, inshallah, inshallah. Uh, I make dua. For every one of us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to continue our prayers, salah, dua, tawbah, istighfar, dhikr, adhkar, fasting, you know, even after the month of Ramadan, you know, for the six days of shawwal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to do all of them. Jazakallah khair. Uh, now, inshallah, Rahman, I'm going to mention in the last two minutes a couple of announcements and few things which we should do in the end of the month of Ramadan that we should do. The first one, Please do not forget your zakat al fitra, which is called as fitra, fitrana, you know, sadaqah uh, fitra. Whatever you name it, it's for every person. We do have to do it. If you have already sent to the, you know, your country, wherever you belong from, you know, back home, somewhere, anywhere, alhamdulillah, may Allah accept it. If you haven't done it, do not wait for your Eid day. Do it as soon as possible so that can reach to the rightful people, inshallah, Rahman. So, Sadaqah Fitr is necessary, and you all know it's uh, the least is 
ten dollar per person and the maximum is actually it's a uh, 4.2 kg of either dates price or 4.2 kgs either you know uh, raisins price so it's up to you whatever the maximum you can and whatever the lowest you can do not forget the Eid prayer itself you know that's uh, necessary too uh, we believe and we think it might come on weekday Monday. If it's come on Sunday, Alhamdulillah, it's come on Monday, Alhamdulillah, Thumma Alhamdulillah. We are believers, we do have to pray. So do not, uh, you know, forget your Eid prayer. And at ICOB, our Eid prayer timing is, do not miss it, please. Uh, the first one is going to be 7.30. If you remember the 7.30, that's okay. Now, next two prayers are after one hour, 30 minutes later. So first prayer is 7.30, inshallah. Second one, 9 o'clock. And third one, inshallah, Rahman, 10.30, inshallah. So please do come 30 minutes before the jama'at time. So you can have the lecture, inshallah, and you can get the procedure, you know, how to, method of the eight prayer. So please do join us in that too. Do not forget that Ramadan is done, not done yet. We still have, inshallah, Rahman, two more nights. So most important announcement, do come, inshallah, Rahman. We still have one odd night, which is tonight. And inshallah, Rahman, we are going to have Qiyamul Layl also, we are going to have Dhikr also, we are going to have Tarabih also. So please do join us, inshallah, Rahman, tonight too. On Eid day, we will be, uh, you know, we will serve you, you know, the Desi Nashta breakfast, inshallah, Halwa Puri Chana. We have kids, uh, you know, goodie bags, balloons, and so many things. So please do join us, bring your friends and family. This is the day, you know, a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After a hard work we have done, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the Eid day is actually, uh, you know, joy. You just enjoy, inshallah, Rahman. So we do have to do a couple of things, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq that we make sure, inshallah, Rahman, that even after, Ahmad, uh, after Ramadan, we do increase our Rahman. We always have ikhlas. We always have tawbah, istighfar, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. Jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.